GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing my custom swamp start scenario. We're in the middle of my CV build. I'm wondering if I should put the, it kind of looks weird, the, um, the landing gear so far in like that. I'm wondering if I should have them out further. Well, it's, you know what, that's fine, where it is. So we've pretty much got the the blocks in for the hull for the most part. Now there are a few spots that are only one layer thick at this point at the back top. Uh, we still haven't that's still only one layer thick. So we gotta we gotta still put more blocks on the top. But we have run out of Sathium completely, and the, this rain is really annoying. And you know what we're gonna do? The sun's gonna be coming up pretty quick. Um, I want to continue building and putting stuff in here. We've got thrusters to put in. Uh, I I hope I can make two more of the uh, projectile turrets for the CVs, and I'm hoping to do that right now. So I might go in and clear this rain because this is just a drag while we're working, right? So let's do that. It's not, we're not like assaulting a POI. This isn't going to affect the gameplay. It's just all it is is annoying. So let's uh, set the weather. And, oops. We'll get rid of that annoying noise and rain and there we can see a little better and the sun's starting to come up so everything will look better so we don't need to sleep uh okay so we should continue on we've got a bunch of thrusters to put in so let's grab those them in here or not? No. Let's just throw that stuff in there for now. It's not necessary. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't, I didn't have enough Sathium for the plating for everything, so I couldn't upgrade everything. So I couldn't, I don't want to paint and texture everything until I actually have upgraded because it's it's easier to upgrade before it's all textured and painted so that because it's especially especially when you're going to combat steel because it takes on the, the default combat steel uh, which I'm going to be going with anyway so I just I need to find more sathium so we're going to be going without a paint job for now because we're not quite done upgrading and we're not done with the texturing and so because of that we're not gonna done with the painting uh, so we're not gonna paint but we are gonna pop in a bunch of uh, stuff so let's do that and because apparently I didn't grab any of it yeah it doesn't look like it put it in any of these no I don't think so okay okay well we've got rudimentary stuff that we can make ammo and stuff for it i guess so let's do that from here because we've got a ton of resources so we'll make uh, a whole bunch of 15 mil so what's that 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 Let's do 5,000 to start, and then it's also, I'm going to have sentry guns, so it's going to need the projectile rifle rounds. And so that's 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. Yeah, okay. We'll get that cooking up. Okay. Meanwhile, let's jump out and we'll take a look at the base. Oh, right, we were going to actually change up the, uh, right, 
That's what I want to do. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. I want to get the ramps on this thing. And I can't put the ramps on with the angle blocks like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop. Let's just go back a bit here. Jump out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 3 by 2 in. So if I pop the... If I, if I do these... That one, now, I, it's hard to see because the lights are so intense on the, uh, <laughs> on the, on the HV. The sun is almost up and, and it'll, it'll help counter the, uh, I can, uh, you know what, let's go like that. There we go. With the, with the sun coming up. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Uh... So what I want to do is take these blocks and we're going to reshape them. Uh, so we're going to use this. So let's, which way are you facing right now? I want you like, like this. So now I should be able to it should it should flip the way I want it to. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can pull off here. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll get this to work now. Three. Wow. That's not bad. I like that. But that's only a one. That's only one block. Yeah. That's kind of. Only one deep, one deep, two deep, three wide, four high. Oh, apparently I'm starving to death, you know. <laughs> okay, uh... Five. Wow, that's way out there. Uh, by three. Oh. By two. By four. By two. Four by two. I don't know. So how do we get the? Can we flip this around? Let's try something. No, I guess that's it. That's where it goes. It's only one high. Why? Why? Hey, come on, really? Are you not gonna? Oh, there we go. Okay. You know what? That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't stick out that far. It's not that bad. Okay, once I get it powered up, I'll put some signals on here and have a sensor switch so that once you get close enough to it, the whole thing, that'll open, this will extend, and then you drive up in, and shortly after getting inside, because I'm going to put the sensor really close to the door the edge of the sensor because i i hate it extending out into there because i want it i want the door to close immediately after entering pretty much so i'll be able to do that we can get the sensor really fine-tuned so it only goes one block in and then so that you got to drive right up to the door for it to open from the inside and but from out the outside we can extend it out a bit so that as we're driving up to it fairly fast it can extend out as we come up and keep driving and, and just drive right in. If there's, uh, especially if we have a problem, right? We want uh, we want a panic, a, a panic ramp, really. So we want the sensor to extend out quite a bit. But we'll do that later. Right now, I just wanted a ramp so that we can go like 
this. Get an RCV. Nice. So, the division kind of glitches a little bit. And is it not, it's not going to correct? I wonder if we go down a bit, will it correct? No? Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping it was going to correct by, by going down. Well, that's okay, because we can go like that and drive in and out, so it's not that big of a deal. Wow, we got tons of space, eh? Just tons of space. Crazy. Crazy amount of parking space. So this is going to be actually construction area. So let me let me back up a bit. Okay, this is fine. Okay, we don't need the engines. Don't need that. I don't even think we need the power on anymore because we're covered. Yeah, we'll just we'll just turn it off. Oops, should have deoxygenated. That's fine. Okay. Let's get out of the whole mole. We don't need her anymore. So she's parked on the CV, no problem. She, she climbed up that like it was nothing. So it was really a joke for her. That's good. That's what we want. And look at all the space. So the, uh, the SV should be able to fly in no problem. Tons of space. Tons of space. Good. Well, uh, we got the ramp in, so that's good. We don't need these other ramps. So what we should do is we should start getting... We got some cargo. We do have cargo. Okay, so let's... Let's start organizing this. I want... Um, so one, two, so I'm going to have a constructor, an advanced constructor here in these two spots, and then on the other two spots on the other side. Um, not sure if I'm going to put anything here, I might. Haven't decided yet. Uh, I was gonna like put the the cargo for the harvest and like the uh, ammo boxes and stuff up there, right above the core, kind of try and balance it out because they're so heavy. The ammo boxes. Okay, so cargo boxes I believe aren't that heavy. 150 kilograms, 300 kilogram. So we're talking. 150 kilograms per block except for that would be only 75 per block yeah that's an airtight that's not airtight well we don't really need it airtight in here do we do we do we like the look of the rails on it connecting together or do we want the smooth rounded look rest like just sitting on each other stacked like that or like that i kind of like the i do like this sh shape better personally um yeah let's let's put some cargo in here I think both sides we're going to need a ton of cargo. So let's just let's just fill that right up. We'll do that on this side too. And then that'll be sufficient to cargo. We won't need any more. Okay. Grab the rest later. Uh, so 
let's make a dump chest here. Let's make a dump chest. stuff yet. Torches. Railings. Extra lights. Ramps. So engine room stuff. We'll need that pretty quick here. Okay. Let's grab the thrusters. So we'll just um, and we're gonna need LCDs and stuff for those. I kind of want to paint to paint first, but like I said, we're just gonna have to. Oops, we're just gonna have to upgrade after we install the stuff and try and get the paint in underneath and texturing. I know it's a real drag, but that's just our reality. See, I don't have enough to upgrade everything and even even still I still got some you can see there's just regular steel blocks here so I'm hoping once we pop some of the other blocks out we can replace those steel blocks as we pop some of the blocks out for the engines and stuff we'll replace all the steel you can see there's a bunch of steel under there too so I want to get the front steel replaced first and then we'll work on the underside um, it won't be enough to replace all the steel blocks but it'll be close It'll be close. So let's do that. Excellent. We'll grab those two because we need them. Uh, we need at least two of the advanced constructors. We'll grab the O2 station. We're going to need those. We'll need those. We'll grab that. Grab that stack. So I'm not sure if we're going to need more fuel. We have a lot more fuel. Two more advanced constructors. Another, oh, the repair bay. Okay. We can put that in. This is not going to be a cheap starter CV, I guess. <sighs> Yeah, we only have these. We only have one RCS, regular RCS. 40 tons. Jeez, 60 tons. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, brutal. Well, let's. How do I want to do this? What I want to do is go in a block. Okay, so let's, or maybe two blocks. Let's go in two blocks. Not drill. So there, and there, and there. Three, three on each side. <clears throat> How many stacks have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks plus another five. Wow, so we can do easily six back, forward, left, right. And then we can do another we can do 10 in each direction, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 42. 47. 47. Wow. So, yeah, we can do uh, almost 12 each direction. So, we can do 10 each direction. And then... And then what? And then we have seven left. That's interesting. So that would be, if we did 12 to the front, that would leave five left. We could do another 
one on each side that would leave three left for the back so we can do 11 on each side 12 to the front and 13 to the back I like it let's do that okay so 12 to the front that means we can go like this you know what we need to I'm too far away my drone's gonna pop can I jump up in there I don't think I can Three blocks. One, two, three. Let's see. Yeah! Nice. Okay. So, I need to go multi-tool that. So, the center the center line to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to zap these out. Okay, so now, see, we need to replace a bunch already. So, boom, let's put that in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah. Watch our drone. We can do this from the outside with the drone. That's fine. So let's put a symmetry plane up. That way we don't have to double up on everything. We'll do a YZ right there. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry, just having a bit of a coughing fit there, turning my mic off. Um, hmm. Let's grab thrusters. So we'll do blocks of three at a time. So we want we want these angled ones, and. We want them facing that direction. Like, come on. Come on, right there. So one, two, three. Yeah, nice. And then we'll do that again here. And that should duplicate the other side. Come on. Can we get this? Can we do this? If we aim up right there, yeah. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's our 12 12 medium to the front. Uh, that should give us decent thrust to the front. So we kind of want to match that on the back, right? And we're going to do 13 on the back. So that means we can do one more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Let's match that, I think is the right way to do this. Although that's much taller, isn't it? It's much taller. I think we need to come up out the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we do, we go up two and then pop out. Okay, well, it's not quite center. But, if we, 
hang on, because we're going to do 13. How are we going to do 13? That's not going to have to have one in the center somewhere. So we're going to have to do 12. So let's do right here. So starting from here, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look okay. And if we have to put more in, we can put a couple more in up top, right? And that'll actually balance that out. I think I'd like to be able to do that too, find another three more mediums and put, so that would give us a uh, 16 to the back. But for now, that should be enough thrust to get us forward. So, oh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna poop her out. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just run over here, pop these ones out, do it from this side. Okay, so let's do this. It was a row of two, top and bottom. Wasn't it? No, it was two and then three. Okay, so we can replace that. And you can see I've only put one layer of blocks in here yet too, because I was hoping to get more. And so that this has to get filled in with more blocks. And uh, I don't think we're gonna have enough, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. We're going to have to uh, make do with with it not being 100% done. So, oops. Wait, what am I? No, I'm, oh, dirt the dirt. Stop it. No, I, I don't want multiple here. Stop it, I just want none. Oh, and it's, really? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll pop these three out. Okay, so let's put the thrusters in. We'll put 12 to the back here. Okay, and put that. Like that. And I don't have anything to put it up against. Come on. There we go. Like that. <coughs> Come on, oh, we had it there for a second. Come on, oh, we had it, come on. No, no, no. This one's tough, come on. Can we do this one? Can we get it back this way? Oh, maybe we can do it like this. Yeah, like that, there we go, there we go. And, oh, did, hmm. Derp. I derp, didn't I? Yeah, because I filled in the other side. <sighs> and yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go over there. See, whenever you derp. You have to go back over to the other side and 
and fix the derps or else stuff like this doesn't work okay let's get these in No, no, no. Come on. All right, right there. And there. And that. That. Come on. No, come on. Right there. And there. Okay, it should have placed it on the other side. Yep, okay. So that's back and front thrusters, up and down thrusters. We need the side and side thruster, side to side. So, we need, uh, turrets on there too, right? So where's the center line? Pour over. Pour. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out where the weight center line is. just a smidge back because there's more there's more back here so if we just move back a bit there's more weight to the back so I want to move back a bit and it's going to be the one right there that line right there okay so let's zap that block out Zap that block out, that one out, and that one out. Okay, so that's right in line like that. That's on the third from the door. Third in from the door. So basically, from the door, across blocks up and from the door across two blocks up so in from the door blocks up so one two completely doing this the wrong way. One back from the door, two up. That looks right. Or one forward from the door, I should say. <laughs> Forward for, from the door and two up. Yep, okay, so let's do this. Okay, so um, how many thrusters have we got here? That's 18, 23. So if we do 10 on the side. Okay, 10 on the side, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, huh, that 
actually there. This is it's not what I wanted to do. Right? Yeah, that's too low. Let's do this instead. <clears throat> oh, that way it's the same height as those thrusters too. Even though that those ones are lower. So that's not that's not a bad thing. And that gives us one, two, three, and a bit. So we can actually yeah. Yeah. So that's nine. Is nine going to be enough? Is nine going to be enough? So that is it's now in line with the door opposite two up. Two up. Right. Okay. So we should be able to put our let's go like this. We should be able to put our thrusters in now. So we've got we're just gonna do um we're going to do this smooth on the outside. We'll just keep doing this, get these in. Okay, we're getting there. We've almost got a flyable vessel. Okay, so we have we have thrusters in every direction now. Nine to each side, twelve to the back, twelve to the front. We've got a bunch of, yeah, yeah, let's take a look. So here, let's do this. So we've got 24 small ones going up, nine medium ones to the left, 12 medium to the back, nine medium to the right, 28 small down and 12 forward of the medium. Not bad. What's our stats right now? We're getting pretty expensive now. We're over we're over 10,000 iron. We're almost up to 15,000 sathium, over 300 copper, 750 silicone, 3,000 neo, 1250 cobalt. We haven't broken the 200 mark on a restroom Zascosium yet though. That's going to happen as soon as we put the repair bay in though. Not sure about the rocket launchers yet. I might not put those on until I um, blueprint it. I might blueprint it without upgrading and, and uh, completely and painting it as yeah, I I do want to put some more gear on this that's going to make it very expensive that I have right now, which I might not have for the blueprint when I, you know, later on. We still got all this to, like, upgrade on the ceiling. Okay, um, so that's...
looking like we got five of the medium left. And I think I want to hold those in reserve for if it's really sluggish in a direction. So that I can do something about that. We might have to use them at the back. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. If we have to, we'll pop the, the center ones right there on each side, and we'll put those in. You know, we should probably just do that right now. Hmm? What do you think? We should just do that right now, then? Because we're going to need it. We're going to need it at the back. We're going to need it at the back. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'll have to put it, I'll have to do them individually once we go over to the other side. We'll go over to the dark side. <laughs> okay. And are you, no, oh, is it going to be a pain? Maybe. Let's see if we can get it against the wall. Yep. Come on. Right there. That's not so bad with the, that, that's actually pretty cool. I don't mind that. That looks, uh, that looks like it'll be a decent amount of thrust coming out of that. So oops, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's, uh, so that's all that is right there on that side. Okay. We'll go do that. We can do that. So it's just pop this out. Spin it. Come on. Oh, you had it there, right there. And nice. And then can we, this one's going to be more, I'm going to have to do it the wall okay okay that gives it substantial more thrust out the back substantially more hopefully there'll be enough out the sides for this to actually maneuver hopefully oh well we're taking a bit of a gamble. So now what I really want to do is I want to do like an inversion around the thrusters with like blocks coming out. But right now I just don't have the, I don't have the blocks. I don't have the turrets that I want to make to the, the um, retractable turrets. I want to put on here on either side. Um, so I don't have those yet. And so that's what I want to do. I want to build up some, uh, some plating around here and it's going to offset a bit so give give the thrusters a little bit more cover and we're going to have turrets facing sideways on each side two more so that'll give us a bunch of uh, um, project that'll give us four out of the 12 allowed and then we can put we can still put eight more we've got tons of space we can put like four more up there we can maybe put some below like lots we can put lots of uh, turrets on here and that's what I plan on doing not not to say it's going to be a uh, attack vessel it's not it's just it's just that it'll hold its own if something attacks it Okay, um, let's get some RCS in here, I guess. So I think I want most stuff up against this wall now. Right? So should we, should we do the warp now, I think? Let's do it on, in one of these nacelles here. So we'll... We'll do this one. Let's flip it. We'll do it above the door there, like that. 
maybe up here let's spawn the drone since we've got tons of room here really we do it's awesome okay uh, should we put it right up to the no because I don't want so should we just have it down down one that should be fine right and then we can have blocks we can have something else yeah so we'll do we'll do we want it to the center as much as possible so above the door two blocks and forward a bit I think right there Actually, maybe even forward more, because it doesn't really weigh that much per block, right? It doesn't. 40 tons. And it's a 3 by 2 by 5. That's 30 blocks at 40 tons as, you know, 11, 11 and a smidge tons per block, whereas this is 24, so this is slightly more heavy per block, so the, the medium thrusters are, are heavier per block than the warp drive. These are 60, crazy. So the RCS are super heavy, we're going to have to make sure they're centered quite well, because we want those as centered as possible to wait so so okay so realistically we do want to throw some weight forward because we've got a lot of weight to the back right now so let's let's get I don't want it too far forward though let's get it just a in front of the door then a block and what a block a block above the ventilator so like that. So there's two, yeah, there's a block gap, yeah. Yeah, so that I can put some, some more, um, some more blocks in here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then I wanna put the, we can put the warp drive tank. We can put that like that, or you know what? We could even have it sticking out like that right because the warp drive is literally that wide why is it not sitting flat on that it doesn't sit flat on that end oh well that sucks so you gotta have the wide end up in the air really no, that's just an optical illusion. No, yeah, see that sits flat against it there. Huh, well that, hmm. I'm not sure if I like that now. You know what, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Oh, is that too far up? I might not be able to reach that from... No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so we just put 40, 40 tons in how much was that again? 4 tons. 44 tons 
from door forward. 44 tons door forward. Just want to see what we can put in here to match that weight. 44 tons door forward. We've got one RCS is more than that. God, that's crazy. These are 60 tons a piece. Wow. Okay, let's get them out of our. We can put those in right now. We can put these in right now because I know where they're going. Right here. And do we want it facing like that or like that? That's flat. This has more contour to it. Let's do it facing like that. I like that. We'll do, we'll match the contour with this one. Yeah, it's got a, it's got more shape to it on the front of that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, what else? Generators. Oh, yeah. So, what do these weigh? Two tons. What do these weigh? 40 tons. 15 tons. 15 tons. 60 tons, 60 tons, jeez. So why don't we, okay, so we'll balance out the weight from the warp drive with one of these RCS. Isn't that ridiculous? So that's, that's gonna be for, we want it about centered and that was gonna be like there. So let's do there. So that should balance out the counterweight, the warp drive, and crazy. Okay. Um, and then we want we want the large generators. So let's get those. And you know what? We should because that. RCS is much heavier by like by like the weight of the gravity generator. So let's let's balance it out with the jet gravity generator over here. I know it sounds crazy because it looks huge, but it's not. It's the weight wise. This is and to the back. Do we want it right to the back or do we want it somewhere? Do we want it somewhere there or right there? You know what? I think we want it right there. Let's move. No, actually, we want it right there, right? We want it forward, don't we? To balance that. So we want it like... We want it there. Let's do that. The gravity generator there. Okay, so now we need, we need to put these identical on either side. So I'm thinking something like we need blocks still. We need to put in with some. So let's, let's do it up against the wall. So let's do how many, how many is that? That's three three wide you know what that's that's actually let's do this like that and then we're gonna match that Okay, so that is behind the door one. 
and three up starts. Okay. Behind the door, one, and three up. So it's right there and there. Okay. So there and there. Okay, so that's our weight distribution still. So we're still keeping a balance on the weight distribution. Let's just quickly group everything. sure all the thrusters are turned off so when we fuel it up it doesn't turn on um, okay getting there so what do we have here for statistics I don't think we'll have anything yet right it's not going to show anything yet right because we turn the thrusters off what if we I think it'll yeah. Um, <clears throat> 22, 17, 13, 13. I mean, it's above 10, which is good. I like the 20s. I like 2G. 2G out the back is pretty good. 17. It's not very good for RCS, though. So we're going to have to fix that. So let's put more RCS in. So we're going to have to do three on this side, three on the other side. So hmm, we're going to need it's going to have to be right where the frickin suit here. One, two, three over on the other side we'll have to do it like underneath the uh, warp drive or something I guess probably oh well oh because it ran out there we go okay yeah perfect okay um So fuel tanks, fuel tanks. Let's get the T3s in first. So let's make sure it's going to go somewhere where it'll both. So I think I want to do. One, and two, like that. So that's to the back. Now we've got to put, um, what's heavier? Two ton, 75 tons. So we'll put fuel to the front now. So we'll do, you know, we can line this up like this. Go one, two, three. And then same thing, we'll do this again. One, two, three. Okay. That's a lot of weight pitched forward. Should counter that. That's good. Um, I think we just have oxygen left now, right? In the way of heavy equipment. But these are actually really light, so this is going to be insubstantial. 
really not really just kind of meaningless at this point so let's what I kind of want to do is put do something like this I want to make it one two three and then we can go something like this Uh, okay, and then we'll, we'll start getting getting stuff in here. Okay. Um Let's go take a look on the other side how it looks because it's not going to be identical and with the symmetry plane up it might look a little weird. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't place them all up there though. Why didn't it place them all up there? Huh. Okay. Well, let's let's get those in then. So let's go like this, and then and then what? And then we can do. Hmm. Well, these are really light. I think I think I can just fill this in here, right? Let's do that. Nope. I'll stand that up. Okay. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave it here. We got, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. We've got 11 meters a second to the sides, 20 meters a second going forward, 15 meters back, uh, 14 meters down, 12 meters up. So she should be able to fly, no problem. The pitch, yaw, and roll all look okay. Uh... I think next episode we'll fuel it up and take it out for a boot. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.